Mark Morrison, also known as The Mac, is a British singer-songwriter who rose to fame in the late 1990s with his hit song, Return of the Mac. However, Morrison has had a long and troubled criminal record, which has often overshadowed his musical success. It's important to remember that everyone makes mistakes and Mark Morrison is no exception. He has faced his fair share of challenges in his life, but he has also shown remarkable resilience. Through his music, he has shared his story and inspired others to overcome their own adversities. If this is your first R&B only, Untold Tales of R&B video, subscribe to the channel. You'll get more content like this and much more content related to all things R&B music. Mark Morrison's music was popular and had a wide appeal, as it was a blend of R&B, soul, and hip-hop, which made it appealing to a wide range of listeners. His songs were also catchy and well-produced, which helped them to become hits. Morrison was signed to Atlantic Records, which is one of the largest record labels in the world. His music was released at a time when R&B music was very popular. This meant that there was a large demand for his music, even while he was locked away in prison. Morrison's first criminal conviction came in 1997, when he was sentenced to three months in jail for attempting to bring a firearm aboard an airliner. While in jail, Morrison's hit song, Return of the Mac, began to rise up the charts. Return of the Mac peaked at number two on the Billboard Hot 100 chart in the United States in 1997. It also reached number one on the Billboard Rhythmic chart and the UK Singles chart. Mark Morrison's Return of the Mac is a timeless classic that has left an indelible mark on the music industry. The single was an instant hit and continues to captivate audiences even today, making it an essential track for anyone's playlist. With its smooth and infectious R&B groove, it sold over 2 million copies worldwide, securing its place as one of the best-selling singles of its time. This fact alone speaks volumes about the song's widespread appeal and undeniable popularity. It's no surprise that Return of the Mac has been featured in countless films, television shows, and commercials, ensuring that its catchy melody and memorable lyrics are never too far from our ears. From its frequent appearances in the soundtracks of 90s nostalgia-driven shows to being sampled by contemporary artists, this track continues to make its mark on the music scene. Furthermore, Mark Morrison's Return of the Mac achieved platinum status, a testament to its enduring legacy. For those who were just kids or not even born when this song first hit the airwaves, it's worth noting that going platinum is a rare accomplishment, reserved for the most exceptional and beloved songs in the industry. The track's enduring popularity and platinum status are proof that music can transcend time and generations. Whether you're a devoted fan of 90s R&B or a curious listener looking to explore the classics, Return of the Mac is a must-listen that bridges the gap between generations, reminding us that good music is truly timeless. Return of the Mac has been a source of inspiration for numerous artists who have sampled and incorporated its iconic sound into their own music. Artists including g Easy, Post Malone, Nipsey Hussle, Fetty Wap, and many more have sampled the infamous song, showcasing the enduring influence of this timeless classic. This juxtaposition of Morrison's criminal past and musical success is a recurring theme throughout his career. During any one of Mark Morrison's prison terms, he more than likely had a hit song on the charts at the same time. In 1998, less than a year after his original sentence, Morrison was arrested for carrying an offensive weapon. He then failed to appear in court for the charge, choosing to fly to Barbados on a personal trip instead. As soon as he returned to the United Kingdom, he was taken into custody for the charge. But this charge would later be dismissed entirely. Just a month later, Morrison was arrested for Afre and his part in a bar fight that unfortunately resulted in one fatality. Morrison was sentenced to some amount of community service for this offense, but instead of serving the community service himself, Morrison hired a lookalike to act as him and perform his community service instead while Morrison, himself, went on tour across the United Kingdom. After being caught, Morrison was sentenced to one full year in prison for perverting the course of justice. 1998 was undoubtedly an eventful year for Morrison. While serving this full year in prison, Morrison converted to Islam and attempted to change his name to Abdul Rahman. However, he later continued to perform and release music under his birth name. In an interview with The Guardian in 2018, Morrison said that his conversion to Islam was a spiritual journey that helped him to turn his life around. He also said that he has found peace and happiness in his new faith. 
Morrison's conversion to Islam has been controversial. Some people have accused him of using Islam as a way to rehabilitate his image after his criminal convictions. However, Morrison has said that his conversion to Islam is genuine and that it has helped him to become a better person. When released from prison in 1999, Morrison had a few years where he behaved well and quietly worked on bettering his music career, but this didn't last very long. In 2002, Morrison was arrested on suspicion of kidnapping and car theft, apparently having abducted a woman in her 20s and of stealing her Mercedes-Benz vehicle. Morrison claimed that she stole an $8,000 gold bracelet from him as an attempt to excuse his actions. Then, in 2004, Morrison was arrested once more, spending a night in custody after a fray in which a diamond medallion was suddenly snatched from around his neck at a Leicester nightclub. Morrison's criminal past has undoubtedly had a negative impact on his career. He has been dropped by multiple record labels and has had difficulty booking shows. However, Morrison has shown signs of remorse for his actions. He has spoken publicly about his struggles with addiction and mental health, and he has said that he is committed to turning his life around. Despite his criminal past, Mark Morrison remains a talented and popular musician. His music continues to resonate with fans around the world, and his story is a reminder that it is never too late to change. Morrison's music has helped him to connect with fans who have also made mistakes in their lives. His music offers a message of hope and redemption, and it shows that it is possible to overcome even the most difficult challenges. Mark Morrison's story is a complex one, but it is ultimately a story of redemption. He has overcome many challenges in his life, and he has used his music to share his story and inspire others. Morrison's music is a powerful testament to his resilience and his commitment to second chances. Mark Morrison's second studio album, Innocent Man, was released in 2006. It is a more mature and introspective album than his debut, and it explores themes of guilt, redemption, and second chances. The album's title track is a powerful ballad about Morrison's own experiences with the criminal justice system. It is a plea for understanding and forgiveness, and it speaks to Morrison's desire to turn his life around. Overall, Innocent Man is a complex and well-crafted album. It is a testament to Morrison's talent as a songwriter and performer. It is also a reflection of his personal journey, and it offers a glimpse into his soul. Mark Morrison's story is a reminder that we should not judge people based on their past mistakes. He has shown that it is possible to change and become a better person. His music is a message of hope and redemption, and it continues to inspire people around the world. Mark Morrison's remarkable journey from a troubled past to a respected figure in the music industry exemplifies the notion that it is never too late for transformation and growth. His music continues to touch the hearts of fans around the world, serving as a testament to the power of second chances. Return of the Mac has, and will always be, a symbol of the enduring legacy of an artist who, despite his personal challenges, contributed significantly to the world of R&B music, inspiring countless individuals to believe in their own potential for redemption and renewal. Mark Morrison's story is a powerful reminder that even amidst adversity, the soulful melodies of his music can resonate and heal, proving that the impact of a single song can transcend the artist's personal struggles and touch the hearts of many. Did you already know any of this about Mark Morrison? Do you still listen to Return of the Mac? Let us know in the comments. Thank you for watching Untold Tales of R&B. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe and like it. Which R&B career should we dive into next?